for tough. New Hampshire. New Hampshire says yay. New Hampshire says yay. Massachusetts. Massachusetts says yay. Massachusetts says yay. Rhode Island. Matt Becker in the world is waiting for her 
could. Come now, James. We must let Dr. Franklin create one of his confusions. The question is clear. Most questions are clear if someone else has decided them. It would be a pity for someone who has handed down hundreds of wise decisions from the bench to be remembered for the one unwise decision that he made in Congress. Come, James, you're keeping everyone waiting. The secretary has called for your vote. Don't push me, John. I know what it is you want me to do. But Mr. Adams is correct about one thing. I'm the one who will be remembered for it. What do you mean? I'm different from you, John. I'm different from most men here. I don't want to be remembered. I just don't want the responsibility. Well, yes. Whether you want it or not, there's no way of avoiding it. Not necessarily. If I go with them, I'll just be one of dozens. No one will ever remember the name of James Wilson. But if I vote for you, then I'll be remembered as the man who prevented American independence. I'm sorry, John. I just didn't bargain for that. That's how new nations are formed by a non-entity trying to protect the anonymity he so richly deserves. Revolutions come into the world like bastard children, Mr. Davidson. Half improvised, half compromised. We provided the compromise, now Mr. Wilson provided the rest. James! I'm sorry, John. But my vote is yay. Pennsylvania says yay. Gentlemen, the count is being 12 to none with one extension. The resolution for independence has been adopted. It's done. It's done. Mr. Thompson. Is the declaration ready to be signed? Yes. Well, I suggest we do so. And the chair further proposes for our own mutual security and protection that no man be allowed to sit in Congress without having his name attached to it. Mr. President, I cannot in good conscience sign such a document. I will never stop hoping for our eventual reconciliation with England, but because, in my own way, I regard America no less than does Mr. Adams, I will join the army and fight in her defense, even though I believe that fight to be hopeless. Goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen of Congress, I say you.